So let us try to understand Node.js. Let us try to understand this Node package ecosystem, NPM and so on, right? Uh, so if you see Node.js, if you go here, you can see that there are two sentences. So this is the first sentence and this is the second sentence. So in other words, you know, there are two uses of Node.js. One is it has NPM and other one is that it can run JavaScript outside the browser. Okay, so let us first start with the first one NPM. What exactly is NPM? If you see today, we have so many frameworks of JavaScript which is coming up. You have Angular at angularjs.org. You have Knockout at knockoutjs.com. You have jQuery at jQuery.org, RequireJS. And it keeps growing. You know, every day you will see that some new framework is coming up and, and people are crazy about it, right? Uh, now, what happens is you know, if I want to use them, then I need to go to their respected site. I need to ensure that I pick up the right version and I install, right? So it is like a headache, you know, to say that, okay, where is Knockout, you know, then where is jQuery, then where is Require and so on, right? So if we can have some kind of a central place, a central connection, a central node, that's the right word, right? Node, a central node, you know, from where I can get any one of these packages. And that's what, you know, exactly this npm inside node does if you read this sentence it says that npm is the largest ecosystem of open source libraries in the world so in other words if i want to get something like let's say jquery i just go to npm and i get it okay so in order to use node what you need to do is you need to go and install one of these two things so you can go and either install 4.5 version or the recent 6.x version right so install any one of them because the syntaxes have not changed once you have installed node what it does is you know it gives you a small command prompt like this and um, you know this command prompt is where you can go and type commands and get the necessary javascript packages so rather than going to in individual websites you know you can use npm command and get things you know for example i can go here and say okay npm install jquery so once you do an npm install you can see that he says that i've installed the latest version of jquery that is 3.1 now the next thing which comes to you, comes into my mind is that where exactly has he installed or where exactly has he put all the jquery files so what npm does is you know by default he puts all the jquery files into your profiles folder so for example if you are logged in with admin then all the jquery files will be in c colon users slash admin if you're logged in with let us say uh, steve then it will be in c colon user slash slash steve right so for example if i go here now to my c drive so in that i have users folder and in that at this moment i'm logged in as user so in case you are logged in as steve or ramesh or admin then you will get the respective folder if you click on it in that you will find there is a node underscore modules folder so there it is and inside the node underscore modules folder you can see that he has installed uh, um, uh, installed jquery now remember that in in javascript you know install means uh, copy okay so like if you are from c sharp or java background install means like a lot of things you know going and modifying lot of your system 32 files and so on but here install means just copying files so there it is all my jquery files are here and i can go to the disk and i can get my jquery and start using in my project so basically the first big use of npm or node is npm so npm means that basically you go ahead you say install the necessary frameworks and you get it the next thing you know what node provides it, it it provides a javascript runtime engine so in other words uh, you can go and run javascript outside the browser so till now if you see javascript is running only inside the browser so if you want to run a javascript code then you have to run inside chrome right but what if you want to go and run javascript outside the browser and that's what the next use of node.js is so for example now uh, let us say if you go and see in my user folder I have put a very simple code here of JavaScript so if I go and edit this in notepad it is a very very simple for loop which goes and loops for 10 times and displays on the console now this JavaScript code is lying somewhere in a JS file inside the user folder 
So if I want to go and run this, what I can do is I can just say here node JavaScript code dot JS. So that it is. Now you can see I'm able to run this code outside the browser. So I put a JS file. I tell node, please go and execute it. But now let us talk about some real world scenarios. You know, if you see a project in a project, you need multiple files. You need jQuery, you need Angular, you need TypeScript. So let us say that here is your projects folder, right? And uh, let's say something like uh, my project, right? And inside this, you want to get all the necessary jQuery files by using npm. So definitely, you know, what you can, you know, going and doing an npm install again and again does not make sense, right? So what you can do is you can go and you can create a very simple JSON file, right? In case you are new to JSON, I would suggest to go and watch the videos of JSON. So JSON is a format. So basically what you can do is inside this D my project folder, you can go and create a simple JSON file like this, you know, wherein I will say, okay, uh, I'll say, okay, version. So the version of my project is, let us say 1.0, right? So what is the name of your project? Let us say the name of my project is my project. Um, and then uh, what kind of uh, dependencies, uh, dev dependencies you have. So I'll say, okay, uh, dev uh, dependencies. So I have dependencies like, uh, let us say, I want to get uh, Angular. Uh, so which version of Angular? So let us say, I would say, okay, 1.5.8. So I also want to get uh, jQuery. So I'll say, okay, like jQuery. Right. So basically, uh, you will go and you will, uh, what do you say, like create uh, such kind of a, uh, such kind of a, uh, su such kind of a file, right? So I'll say jQuery 3.1, right? Uh, so I can go and create such kind of a file, and I can save this file inside this folder my project. So I can go to the my project, and I will save save this file as package.json. It is very essential that you save with the name package.json right so once you save this you know inside this you have package.json now what you can do is you can go to your node and uh, let us browse to that folder so i'll say cd and i will say paste i'll i'll browse to that folder and then i can just go and say here npm install now the time i do that what it does is it actually goes and looks locally for a package.json if it finds the package.json it starts going to the dev dependencies and starts pulling up all the dependencies and creates a node underscore modules folder inside your project itself. So if I do a npm install now, uh, you can see that now what it will try to do is it will try to go and locate package.json. You can see that there are some problems there. Uh, uh, it says that uh, no such file package.json found in a current directory. Oh, why am I in? Okay, I need to go to D drive. Right, so there it is. So I'll do, a, actually I was in a wrong directory. So now let me do a npm install. Let us see. So it will now go, actually I was in a wrong directory. I was in the users folder, right? Uh, Okay, there it is. It's giving me some kind of a problem saying that invalid version 1.0, etc. Must be I did not write the files properly. So let me use Visual Studio here. So I'm going to go and use Visual Studio so that I don't make mistakes. Must be that I made some mistakes over that. So, uh, and which is very much possible. I'm a human, right? At the end of the day. So what you can do is you can very well go and use your Visual Studio and uh, create this config file. So you can see now what I've done is I have added a package.json file here and uh, let me use the Visual Studio IntelliSense, you know, to get things. So jQuery, uh, and let me get this. So what I'll do is I'll copy this, Control C. I will copy this into this thing so that, because I'm sure that I made mistakes there, right? So here it is, I've copied it. I'm going to save this. And now let us again do an npm install. So basically what I mean to say is that you, if you can just go and put this package.json inside your folder, automatically uh, it will go and it will pull things for you. So you can now see that he has created a node underscore modules folder and he has created Angular and he's trying to pull things up, right? 
So remember that in big projects, you won't be doing npm install. So what you can do is you can create this package.json and do a npm install onto that folder and then the necessary files will be automatically pulled out, right? And uh, to create a package.json, you can always use Visual Studio. So just open a, a, a web project and um, in Visual Studio 2015, uh, we have a feature, you know, where you can go and add these configuration files. So if you go and just search config, you'll find that, you know, Visual Studio 2015 is giving support to a lot of configurations of javascript and one of them is npm so you can add this over here right put down what dependencies you want go to this folder and do a npm install so let us quickly revise you know what we have learned in this introductory session of node.js so node.js has two basic uses and the site actually uh, provides this by two sentences so first one you know node.js has npm which is nothing but collection of largest open source libraries. So it is it is all available in one central place and we have to just go to node.js command prompt and say npm install and get the files. And the second one is, you know, node.js helps you to run JavaScript outside the browser. So you can just put a JavaScript file in a folder and say node run it. So I hope that this introductory session was useful for node.js. Thank you. Mm -hmm.